In this tutorial we're going to look at using letter glow to add journaling to journaling, filler cards and photos. Now, as discussed in a previous tutorial, you can add journaling to, in the Project Life app but you are not able to add journaling to designers cards that are not stored within the app. So in order to add journaling to Amber's products and to photos we need to use another app the app we're going to use in this tutorial is Letterglow. So open up the app and you find its front screen. There are two um, icons on the front screen. The yellow icon is to take a photo and the green icon is to choose a photo from your library. So we're going to press on the green icon. And then we're going to find where we've stored our journaling card on our camera roll and choose the card. Once you've found your card, simply click on use and a text box in white font will appear in the middle of your screen. The first thing I always do, if I've got a white card, is change the background of the font so we don't lose it as we're working along. So you simply do that by Clicking here on the colour wheel and choosing your colour, then select the tick. In order to edit the text, we double tap on the box and we go into the editor mode. You have the options here for left align, central align and right align. Coming down onto the black area, there is a font selector the keyboard to come back to the keyboard when you're in fonts and a symbol selector. So let's go left aligned and then you can simply start to type. I normally type a few words, choose my font, I'm going to use frog for this one get quite a lot of fonts already in um, Let It Go app. Some of them you can purchase as an add-on and you can also import your own fonts. So if you've purchased fonts or you've got some free fonts that you like to use for journaling, you can import them into the app and use them. So now I've got my starting my journaling, I like to get the rough size. With Let It Go, and most of the other apps for adding journaling, it is impossible to um, change the size of the boundary box. When you do it, it just increases or decreases the font. So it's often easier to decide on your font you're going to use and the size of the font before you get into your journaling. I'm just going to double click it. And then rather than you swatch me enter all my text. I'm just going to paste some text I've got from earlier. So here's my journaling and if we pop it on the card it does fit but I quite like to have a bit of white space around the edge. Now, as I said you can't change the boundary box so what you have to do is go into the editor by double tapping on it and then you simply position your cursor and do a return each time to get the size of the font area that you want, the text box that you want to use. There is one app that allows you to um, change the text boundary box, but unfortunately it doesn't allow you to do very much more and it has real problems with um, high resolution images. So for now, letter glow is the way to go. It doesn't take long, so there you can see I've added all my returns in there. Um, one of the other things that I like to do is just give a little bit more line spacing on my journaling cards. So to do that, we scroll along to the end and you see these buttons here with the A and the Bs. This one, um, allows you to increase your character spacing and this one which we're going to use is for line spacing. So I'm just going to increase that slightly and then position it there. 
We come down to the white bar on the bottom and the arrow in the middle. Click on that and we can now say we are done. And then all we have to do is click on the green button and save. That's now been exported to our camera roll. So if we come out of the Letter Glow app and go back into Project Life. This time, instead of creating a new page, we're going to go to the yellow quadrant and open up our library. On this page, we can see all the pages that we've been working on, collages, etc. So find the page that you had your original journaling card on and select that. And then to change the journaling card, simply click on the journaling card, select the picture icon, find your new journaling card in the camera roll, and there we have it, your journaling card on your page with your journaling. Now I'm just going to show you how to use different fonts um, on your journaling card. So if we select new and go into the green icon again, and I'm just going to find my title journaling card. I scrap monthly, so I quite like having a title card top left corner of most double pages. And I like to add the month and the year. So select your card and then click on use. And I'm just going to change the colour of the font by coming down to the AA button, along to the colour circle, and then I'll change that to, to green to match the flowers. Now if I double click on it and type August, and then I'm going to choose the Allura font. Make it a little bit bigger and tick. Okay, it needs to be bigger still. Now you can increase the size using your fingers on your iPhone like you normally would to increase things. Two fingers and spread them apart. Or you can select on this AA button and go into that and increase it or decrease it that way. So I've got my first word in there. Now for the second, for the, for the year, I want to change the font. So what we need to do is make sure you're on the AA button. Select the plus sign. And this will bring up a new text box. I'm going to type in 2015. I'm going to change the font by clicking on the F. Select that and tick. And I'm going to change the colour by coming to the colour wheel. And change it to navy. And bring that there. Now I'm going to reduce the size of that by using the AA button again. Down to the size, and I'm just going to reduce the August a bit as well. Now, as I said, you can pick up and move your word boxes, but to get a good alignment, quite often I will come to this button here with the four pointing arrows, and this allows a bit more precision in moving the words where we want them. It also brings up a grid so you can see that both words are now sitting on that grid line there. Select. Now that's all done. Come down to the white bar of the little arrow on the bottom again and click on done. And up to save. So very quickly we've created a title card which we can now go into Project Life and replace our title card there. So very, very quick, easy and simple to do. We've still got this journaling card down the bottom. Um, we're going to add some elements and some text strips from Amber's collection, My Heart Sings. And we're going to cover how to do that in the next tutorial next week. So now we can export the page, 12 by 12, flatten the page, and save image. 
And now when we go into my photos, we can see that we now have a page with the title on the top left corner, some journaling, our photos and our filler cards. So don't forget to check back next week to work, find out how we add elements and word art to complete the page.